All right, ladies and gents, it's Red, the rideshare ginger, coming back. I uh, just want to pop in for a quick video, a uh, little anecdote for you. You know, uh, last time I signed off, I uh, said I had that $17 surge leaving the UC, um, and it was select surge, so we we're going to see what could happen with it. Uh, I was going to head home with it and just uh, sit and wait on it if I caught something great. Well, headed home went to sleep mind you i caught this surge at 11 15 p.m got 17 dollars select surge from the united center in chicago at 11 15 p.m and left there ended up going home got home at about 12 30 one o'clock went straight to sleep uh woke up at six like man i must have missed my ping for it you know nothing came through must have missed my ping look at the app i still had the 17 dollars select surge so i sit on that i get up finally roll out of bed get out of there by about 8 30 and i start driving and i'm like if i catch something i catch something but i'm gonna turn lift on see what i catch i ran three lift trips and still did not get a select request sitting on that 17 dollars surge so it's still sitting there um, at about 10, I decided to go grab some food with some people, um, kind of talk some things over and sit through all the food. Uh, it's about noon when we're leaving there. And I'm uh, sorry, it wasn't noon. It was, uh, it was right about 11 when we're leaving there. And I was still sitting there with the $17, 12 hours, $17 select surge. Well, I didn't have much more time for driving. I had to get home. I had to get back to Rockford to take a test. Uh, I'm still in school right now um, for the rest of the semester in Rockford, and then I'll be moving out closer to my area. But I had to go back to a makeup test, and I uh, updated the app accidentally while I was sitting at home. So at about 12:30, I ended up losing the $17 surge, um, all because I updated the app. But that $70 sat there that whole time. Now, I don't know if Uber would have ever given me a ride sitting there with that $70. I was trying to hold it to see what happened. I mean, I would love to catch a ride at that point just to know that it eventually pays out. But so I can't really help you to tell you whether they would have paid out on it or uh, if I would have ever caught a ride. But I feel like I must hold the record now for the longest held surge. Uh, definitely uh, <laughs> was an extensive amount of time. So $70 select surge just a little over 12 hours I held it for and did not get a ride at the end of it um, but last night good night I started at 9 30 p.m. O'Hare Airport was popping most of the night caught a couple of good trips I ended up finishing at 2 30 in the morning with hundred and eighty five dollars not a single select or Lux ride that was all X all regular lift uh, 185 uh, it was great. Good night for me. Pretty happy about it. Didn't drive it all the day. I may head out a little bit tonight, but I'm heading to a friend's right now, so we'll see how that goes. I'm all about that work-life balance. Don't want to work too hard. Just work hard enough to pay the bills and do everything that I'd like to do. And it's getting a little bit easier now because I'm doing Turo. If you're someone who watches Uber Tracks video, you know a little bit about Turo. I highly recommend looking more into it. I will go in a little more in depth once I get through this first month for me on Turo, but I'm in month one and I am sitting at revenue of $500 on my 2017 Ford Fusion. My monthly payment on that is $240. So we are looking pretty solid right now. So overall, pretty happy with the situation on Turo. I will go more in depth once I get through this first month. I don't want to be putting too much out there before I have enough experience, but I've had three separate renters. All three have been solid experiences. So having that extra $500 a month is allowing me to work a little bit less and not go out and drive as much. And with that in mind, I will most likely be getting a second vehicle to put on Turo in December. And then the goal is to get another MKZ by probably February or March and pop this current MKZ on to Turo and start driving the new one or the newer one. I'm going to go with probably a 2016 or 2017 again, but just getting the second one and uh, probably going to get that one black because I've been seeing some guys catching some nice uh, Lux black trips that are killer absolutely amazing so i want to probably hop on that black instead of sitting here with the white car here but overall just wanted to pop in let you know about my surge um and the little uh trip or lack of trip that i had with that surge 
And if you have any questions, as usual, like, comment, um, send me an email, whatever you would like to do. I will try to get back to you as quickly as possible. And just overall, I got a lot of different things that I want to share and want to put out there. I mean, I need, I need to do a video uh, talking about rental. I've already been through a rental with Lyft. I need to put a little bit out there about Turo. I need to continue popping on the select uh, platform and things like that. So I'm going to try to keep putting out videos as often as possible and try to update you on my earnings as often as I possibly can. Uh, looking for a big week next week. Next week, um, I do not have any classes. And then I'm also a cheerleading coach, which takes away some of my time from driving. I don't have any cheer next week. So it is an open week for me with the exception of obviously spending some time with family probably Wednesday and Thursday. Outside of that, it's a wide open week. I'm probably gonna drive a little more than I usually do and gonna try to get out there and make it happen, see if I can put up a big number and try to figure out select during the holidays. But until then, shoot me a message, like, comment, share, whatever you'd like to do. And I will talk to you later. Thank you.